This video is going to be an update to our other Forex software manual video. And it's going to add some of the new features we've added and also how to quickly set up very powerful workspaces in less than five or ten minutes. First, to bring up the software, you want to double click on our AWS eSignal icon. Put in your username and password and hit login. Then you can either follow along with the other uh, user manual video, read or written manual, or you can just simply hit load. Once you click the load button, you'll find our chart examples right here. And we have a sample five minute chart. You can click on this. That will load the sample five minute uh, chart. And as you can see, this has all the main indicators that we recommend for people who want five minute charts. It has the three hour balance point line in yellow, containment bands, which we use the, the two, which is the white band, the three, which you can't see, which is green. The containment band shows the hourly moving average in the middle. And usually the white band contains price. If it ever does make it up to the 3.0 containment band, it almost always reverses. There's about an 80, 85 percent chance that it will reverse within 30 minutes. Daily moving averages show you the 10, 20, 50, 200 day moving average. Uh, FX and telestops, get, but they really work best live because we use a lot more code in the live version than the historical one. FX Trend Pro does a great job showing you what, whether the currency is strong or weak. This is also showing our new pivot score daily, weekly, and monthly trends on the bottom. Unlike the older daily trend, weekly trend, monthly trend, which only worked live and it colored all the past bars the same color, these work both live and historically. So when you bring it up on the chart, you can see how the strength or weakness progressed throughout the day, which is very useful. We have the monthly and weekly pivots on here, uh, previous days high, months high and low, and weeks high and low, and the trading zones. I spend 30 or 40 minutes every night doing Fibonacci analysis. The light gray levels are Fibonacci retracement levels, and dark gray levels are Fibonacci profit target levels. Anytime these levels get hit, they tend to be pretty major support resistance, and when they're outside of the 2.0 white bands, usually that's going to be the high of the day. So if you're buying this, you know, you have a few profitable trades, when it gets up to this level, uh, it's pretty likely to reverse. You can see it, it fell back from 3150 all the way down to the hourly moving average monthly pivot level. Nice 40 to 45 pip reversal. So not only does it make an excellent profit target, it also makes a great place to do counter trend trades. So this is just our sample five minute chart. If you want to bring this up, you can select the corners and make it any size you want. Notice the number of pixels gets displayed there. If you wanted a certain number of pixels, you, for instance, 400 by 300. If your screen 1600 pixels wide and you want four charts uh, along there, you can hit apply changes. And now you have a 400 pixel wide chart, which you can see if I move this, say it's 400 by 302, 300. And, you know, again, you can select the corners. Once you have the chart the way you like it, you can right click on the chart, duplicate window, grab it by the top left click and drag and then type in your new symbol pound dollar for instance and you can see today the Fibonacci profit target level which is in dark gray was the high of this particular currency pair again right click duplicate window and drag it and if you want to put in something else like the euro yen hit enter Wait for everything to come in. All right, there you go. So this gives you a wealth of information. It shows you the containment bands. Notice, again, the upper white band tends to be the high, tends to be the high, tends to be the high. Uh, it shows our trailing stops. Here's a 20-day moving average. It was stuck between the previous month's low moving average here, the hourly moving average. When it broke out, you had a nice trend. The real-time momentum, daily trend, weekly trend, and monthly trend. So this is... Uh, a currency where the weekly and monthly trend are down, it's working its way up here. You could, for instance, draw your fibs on this, and when it gets to the fib target, look to sell there because the longer term trends down, and the containment bands tend to contain price regardless. 
But if the weekly monthly trends down, they work phenomenally well. So it might look like a counter trend trade selling the highs, but the weekly and mo monthly trend are extremely weak. And so this is actually getting into a longer term trend trade uh, right near the likely reversal area, which is the upper bands. Now, if this one had a Fibonacci area here like the other two, it would be even more uh, a better trade and a higher odds trade. Okay, so this is our five minute chart. Let me show you the other sample charts and how you can use those to improve your trading. Again, click the load button. And the next one is the range chart. This is using our range charts, which is based on a certain number of pips per bar. And when this loads up, you can see it shows 6R, which means basically 6 pips per bar. If you wanted a 5 pips per bar, you could just hit 5R and hit Enter, and it would redraw it with 5 pips per bar. Notice uh, it shifted a little bit to the left because there's more bars. If you wanted 10 pips per bar, hit 10R, and there's fewer bars. So you can customize this to fit the style of trading that you want to do. I'm going to put it back to 6R and the plus and minus keys zoom in and out. Now, some of our tools only work live. Build Your Own Trend Tool only works live because it uses multiple different time frames with your own weighting. I set the weightings that I use myself and then I recommend and teach. You can see 15% weighting to the five minute trend candles, 15% weighting to the 15 minute power index, 10% uh, weighting to the five minute three by three power index, you know, there's other videos that go over what each of these do. The ADX trend is an intermediate time frame trend that gets uh, measures the intensity of the trend that gets 15% weight and momentum pro gets 30. So basically, this is composed of about 45% uh, intensity indicators and 55% directional indicators. And again, underneath that, we have a daily, weekly, monthly trend. I prefer the range charts over everything else. I'm going to bring this chart up that I had running in another. Uh, window overnight and show you what it, what it looks like if you left it running. Here you can see that the intelligent trailing stop works excellent as an entry and an exit. Entry, exit, short. Obviously if you're above the hourly it's more likely to go up. If you see momentum that shows the upward trend more likely than the downward trend you would prefer to trade that. If it gets outside the bands and hits the fib area you could obviously sell here, make a little bit, sell here, lose 10 pips. Um, and then the second, the last trade, maybe make a few pips. This last trade, selling it right here at 43, goes all the way down to the hourly moving average. You can see if you exited here at 15, you made about 28 pips on that trade. The range charts are just, in my opinion, a lot clearer than some of the other charts. If the price doesn't move that much, you have fewer bars. If the price is very active, uh, you have a lot more bars. And a lot of times, I'll put my stop underneath the previous bars. If I, if I bought this breakout right here, I'd move my stop up, my stop up, my stop up, my stop up, stop up, you know, and get out of that trade right here uh, at 49. The next one I'd like to load and show you is the Trend Pro Currency Meter. And I have this kind of off the screen. Uh, this is set up to allow people to obviously move it however they want. And this shows you the currency meter with each each currency. It's already set up for you. You can grab the corners and make them wider if you want. Uh, resize them. You can see the number of pixels right there. You can make them taller as well. And once you do that and you move it around how you want it, obviously if you want to put this on a separate layer, let's say um, you right click on the chart here, set window layer 2, and that way if you turn layer 2 off it disappears. If you want to put the currency meter, if you only have one monitor, I highly recommend you have more than one monitor, but if you only have one, you can put the currency meter up on a, on a layer and hide it. And if you want to right click on here, you can put currency meter until you remember what it is. So there you go, you know that the layer number 2 is a currency meter, for instance. Okay, so, so far I showed you the five minute chart, the range chart, and the currency meter. The last of our sample charts, which you can use to set up your workspace very quickly, is the FX Total View Hot List. Now, if you have some charts set up and, and running and you don't want to get rid of them, let's just 
showcase that right now. I'm going to put in a euro dollar chart right here. If I don't want this chart to disappear when I load a new workspace, which is the default, notice here it's automatically checked clear current workspace before loading new workspace. If I just select this and hit open, it's going to get rid of that chart. If I uncheck this, it's going to leave whatever I'm, I have up on my uh, workspace and leave it still running. So that's how you can bring up a chart or a hot list or a range chart or a currency meter and add it to whatever workspace you already have without getting rid of what you you know have running. So here we're going to click open and this has a ton of information in it. Notice that the chart stayed there. Once it's finished loading you have the longer term trends, these are the ones you should focus on buying, dollar CAD, dollar Swiss, pound dollar. The light green and light red ones are somewhat strong or weak, and the dark red is super weak, dark green super strong. We have a daily, weekly, and monthly trend, which you can sort by any of these columns. Uh, monthly trend, trend zone tells you which currencies are most likely to trend up or down. Green means up, red means down. This is our real-time uh, FX Trend Pro which uh, lets you see the real-time momentum. Uh, this column right here, any time a currency is either up or down three plus days in a row, it's likely to reverse. So for instance, the dollar yen, which is uh, down five days in a row, it's very likely to reverse today. And you can see that's exactly what happened. Came down here to the lows and then reversed. This is which currencies are above or below the previous days, high and low weeks higher low or months higher low. So the dollar CAD is above uh, yesterday's high, last week's high, and last month's high. This is one of my favorite fields, support resistance. It shows you where the closest support areas are and how many pips away they are, one pip, and below that there's one that's three pips away and then 12. If you're looking to sell it, there's a lot, a lot of support underneath there. It's not likely to go down too many pips. Whereas another currency, that you might want to buy, let's say the Euro Yen, if you're looking to buy this, it could potentially go up 16 pips before it hits the daily pivot, and above that, the daily uh, midpoint is 50 full pips up. And if it goes above that, there's also the weekly low up there at 53 pips. So this is a currency where you have a chance of making 16 pips. If it breaks through that, then you have a really pretty good chance of making 50 pips on that trade because the next area is so far up. This is our daily narrow range pattern. If anything shows up on here, uh, it's more likely to trend the next day. These are weekly NR patterns. I don't personally use these myself, but a lot of uh, traders at Swing Trade using our software like it. And this shows you how many pips each 5-minute bar moves, 15-minute bar, and then the daily range. So the pound yen moves 155 pips a, a day, euro yen 135. The lowest volatility one is the dollar CAD. On a five minute chart, it averages about 2.7 pips. You can use this to get an idea of what a reasonable profit target and stop is. Uh, 15 uh, minute charts are pretty decent for setting your stops. Pound yen, uh, because of the lower volatility right now, it only moves 10.5 pips every 15 minutes. So, you know, and we also have other columns that show you the 30 minute and 60 minute average volatility, but I don't. I don't use that. Uh, I also include this in the hot list, so if you want to create a range chart, let's say the pound yen, that's six pips per bar is pretty decent. CAD yen, you might round up to four. Australian dollar, you might want to use four right now. And these vary over time. I've seen many of these uh, during more higher volatility periods have, you know, 10, 12 uh, pips per bar average, even for a five minute chart. So right now we're experiencing lower volatility than we have had in the past.